I don't belong here. I don't belong on this earth. I do for now. I do what God wills it to be so, to be true. I don't know if it's going to be windy in this video or not. I kind of don't care. Um, I'm outside. It's obviously windy. I'll try to talk loud enough that my voice overtakes the wind. It's flying through this stupid little computer microphone that I have in my pocket that's now in my hand. I just can't fucking stand the system, the cosmos. I stand firm on Christ alone, and there's no self-righteous thing about that. I didn't ask to be placed there. It's God's will. I was set to be placed on the cornerstone of Christ in the hidden from the eons the eons the the five segments of time that God allotted for creation to understand that he is God through his perfect image that is Christ God is not Christ Christ is not God we have to understand that oneness is not being the other person it's being yourself so much that you realize that you are only found in Christ. There's no other identity that you have. You could relatively have identity, that's fine. You're the most honest people that I know that I can be honest with. And I got that job at Chipotle, the fucking Mexican, it's not Mexican at all, it's so fake. It's so fake that people that work there, they they like to believe that they're genuine and really it's like I was working with a bunch of people that were just like me like the way I used to be uh, humble to a point of arrogance prideful to a point of believing that they are better than you and just this this sick feeling there like you can be yourself but only if it fits with what everyone else is doing like everyone there is just suffering mental illnesses they're just walking around sacks of sadness. The, I, I, I said that the, the I was telling people the communication there was the best out of any job I ever had. And I'm realizing that I, my first impression on just about anybody or anything or any place is almost always skewed. It's almost always not what it actually is. I have so much fucking hope for humanity that as soon as I give that glimpse of hope, shred of thought that it's true it's like god is just like ha, here's all the reasons that they actually suck i don't know if it's the god of this eon you know if it's satan himself i don't fucking care all it is that god himself the one living god the father of christ jesus who even created the adversary the adversary came through christ i don't know if people understand that God had to have an opposing force, a black background, so that his light could shine. Otherwise, there's just a blinding light, and no one appreciates a blinding light. You can't see anything. You have to have contrast. Honda boy. I'm over here on Becca's porch. It's windy as fuck. I hope you can hear this video. And my thought with this always is, if you can't hear it, you're not meant to hear it. You know? You'll hear what you're supposed to hear. I talk to people all the time that pretty much just tell me, Hey Seth, I fucking fuck off, man. Fuck off. Without telling me to fuck off. You know, they're usually kind about it. Kind. I don't know what kindness is anymore. It's all this fucking... Virtue signaling. Like, being at work there... Like, I just got terminated today. It was making me so anxious to go work there because it was like... Everyone wanted to claim that they were so authentic and so real that... It, they just got lost in the odd vibration that was traveling through this fucking fast food store. Like, everyone believed that they were just the best fucking worker. I mean, I did for the first while, and then I was like, holy shit, these guys are a lot better than me at this job. And it shows because they are so fucking cocky about it, too. Like, they could do everything that I could do faster than me with one hand tied behind their fucking back. If all of them got in a car accident in the same day and everyone had an amputation of one arm, I still couldn't work as fast as these people. I don't thrive in this world. I do not fucking thrive in this world. I, I'm, I, I, I pray to God that he 
brings me something, a job where I can be myself. I don't know what that means. Do I have to go be a bartender and be an asshole to people and sling them drinks and jokes and talk about whatever the fuck crosses my mind? Sure, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know my place apart from Christ. It, it pisses me off, man. Like, I hate being emotional. I fucking hate being emotional because I've been emotional my whole life. I talked to Rob last night. Him and I are just right there. We're just like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. He's been he's been in this truth for 25 years or so. I mean, Martin's been working in this for like 27 years or some shit like that. Like, my dad's been in it for, I want to say like 12 years. 11 years or so, like, I don't, I don't know, all I have is the, the truth of Christ, his faith, that's it, that's goddamn it. good at taking care of myself. I'm not that good at taking care of others. Thank God that he is. Because he puts it in your mind that, hey, when I have to go shit, I'm going to go to the toilet and take a shit. When I'm hungry, I'm going to go make myself some food. I'm going to go buy some food. There's the wind. Numa. It's like the spirit. Let's look at this view, though. This is Becca's backyard, her parents' backyard. It's beautiful. It's her back porch. That's amazing. I hung out with their whole family, I think, two times now. Um, it's easy to connect with Presley, uh, Becca's youngest sister, because she's young, and young people are just so easy to connect with. Um, her sister, Ashley... She's easy to connect with because she's just like, she's like a, a sturdier Becca, if that makes sense. Like, she's got more of a backbone. I don't know, Becca's, she's a lot like me. She's super fucking emotional. Super emotional. Hates to see people suffer. Not that these other two are not like that. I just haven't spent as much time with them. Um, Ashley's husband, Eric, he watches all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> like their family watches these videos and they're gonna probably see this and be like oh Seth's a fucking whack job well I am okay if the mafia had a hit out on me I'd have been hit yesterday you know what's it to ya hey what's it to ya I got this pup he protects Honda is so spiritually aware it's fucking phenomenal I thank God for this dog he's just like me just one of the dogs. Give me nuts. Yeah, buddy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Um, I want to... I want to marry this woman. Her and I had a talk last night where she, she broke down and she was like, do you really want to live with me? Do you actually see yourself being with me? Actually, that was two nights ago. I can't remember, it just all blurs together. Rebecca, I'm not forgetful in a way of like, oh, I have, the, I have to have the timestamp. I have to know exactly when this happened. No, I just know that it happened and I'm thankful. She was having these memories of her ex-boyfriend and my ex-best friend that, you know, he manipulated the fuck out of us. And, if she ever believes that I'm a manipulative person, then I just, I don't even know what I would do. I'm not going to worry about it. it. hurts to think about. Ah, I fucking hate emotion. Now that it's, it's, it humanizes us. I mean, Jesus wept. One of the most fucking powerful verses, two, a two-word, even, I know verses and 
uh, chapters and all that, that, that came after the fact that they were written, that, that was not, like, when, when these people, um, like, Paul, Peter, John, um, Luke, Matthew, Mark, all these people of the Old Testament, all these people of the New Testament, and just because their name is in the title doesn't mean that they wrote it, um, like, Corinthians, uh, Philippians, uh, all those, Timothy, these are letters that Paul wrote to these churches, to these people. Ecclesia, we are the called out ones. Ecclesiastes is, I, I believe that's a circumcision thing. Circumcision being for God's chosen people, Israel, which is not us. Cody always claimed to be Jewish, this ex-best friend of mine. He always claimed all these things, and all he did it for was self-gain, which a lot of modern Judaism does. They just do it all for personal gain. They don't do it because they actually love the truth. This motherfucker had in Hebrew in Hebrew he had I think Yeshua tattooed like right here on his wrist. Yeshua. And I would always hear him tell people oh it's my God. It means it means Yeshua. It's my God. I'm Jewish. This motherfucker's like Irish or something. Like, not that race is the issue here, but with God, there really is racism with God. I don't know if people truly understand that God is racist. Racist in the sense that he divides people, not in the sense that he's a bigot, that he's whatever the fuck modern idea of racism you believe exists. There are the nations, and there are God's people, Israel. But because God, through his spirit in the glorified Christ Jesus, after Christ had died, Paul was on his way to go and kill uh, proselytes or believers or Christians. And the only reason that word Christian was ever used is because it was derogatory for those who had believed that Christ really was who he said he was. Not the modern day belief of Christianity. Christianity is fucked up. It's false. They say that you have to believe. It's up to you. No, that's a Jewish belief. But then they throw grace in your face and say it's not up to you. It's all given to you. It's like a present. You have to open it. Bitch, you're in the present. You are in the present. That is the moment. That is now. And God reveals it to you. Those old, vainglorious ways that were in me, that are no longer part of me, they're like, they're like fucking clouds around my head. Vanity. It's a veil. It's, it's distortion. Um, I wish I had my scriptures here to you know, give you some something, some substance, but I know that I am a living, breathing word of God, and it, it offends people. It offends people what comes out of my mouth, even if I don't ever mean to offend anybody, and I never have. I, I have, I've had people hurt me, and that's the only reason I ever wanted to hurt them, was to just get even, and I'm fucking done with that shit. I've been done with that shit for so long. That was me in fucking elementary school or junior high. That's when I wanted to get back at people. And then someone hurt me and I was like, I don't ever want to fucking hurt anyone ever again. Not intentionally. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I don't want to ever seem like I'm better than you. Because my dad and I had this talk right when I came into the understanding of the truth. He had told me in like 2011, I was like a freshman in high school, maybe a, a sophomore. And he's explaining it to me and I don't understand it. And then nine years later, it makes sense to me. Not because of anything my dad did to make me believe. Not because of anything inside of myself that made me believe. It was just the fact that I had to go through eight or nine years of just bullshit. Fucking bullshit. To realize that flowers actually smell decent. That I'm actually worth being alive. That you are crucial.
I want to be one with everyone all the time and I just can't because there's opposing forces that we can't see that make us believe that we're not worth being loved. We're not worth what God has already accomplished, being conciliated. One way love is conciliation. That's God to us. He is here. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. 8, 9, 10. Go read them. Go to concordant.org. C-O-N-C-O-R-D-A-N-T dot O-R-G. Concordant.org. You're going to have a proper translation there. Young's literal translation. That's a good one. Um, I know there's a number of other ones out there that properly translate Greek to English. But that's the problem with most of the world. They just don't know how to use their words. They're using words that don't mean what they want them to mean. Or if they do, it's for a selfish agenda, like the Christian church. Like forever and ever. Like that just, is God that fucking stupid? No. The God of this eon, he's, Satan himself is more wise than Christianity. Why? Because he fooled them all. He made them believe in a trinity, which is not true. How can God be Jesus? I just told you at the beginning of this video, that's fucking impossible. Get that shit out of your head. It's not possible. One plus one plus one does not equal one. Unless you're really bad at math. And just because you believe it to be true doesn't make it right. The confidence I have is not of me. It's Christ. That's it. It's it's Christ. This has nothing to do with personal gain here. None of it has to do with personal gain. All I want is for people to realize that suffering has an end. That evil is limited. That death is limited. Is an enemy. People want to fucking talk about energy. They want to talk about vibes. They want to talk about your truth. They want to talk about karma. They want to talk about all these things, all these things that if you take them away, what do you have? Do you have anything? Do you have anything left to stand on? What happens when the air is still and there's nothing here to prove to you that the grass is actually green? That your foundation isn't crumbling. It's not up to you. None of this is up to you. It's all understanding that if everything in your life fell away, like I just fucking lost my job today. Could I have prevented that? No, I couldn't have because that's a what if relative bullshit scenario that I am tired of falling into. I'm tired of the fucking trap. I'm tired of making myself believe that I could have done something better. Looking forward, yes, things will progress, God willing. Am I going to tell you that I don't matter? No. Fuck that shit. It's like I was listening to one of uh, Michael Knotts' videos. And he brought up someone who was trying to say something about like, some, something to oppose God's conciliation, claiming that, um, what about when they're talking about the goats and the sheep and the separation of animals in the Revelation, which I think is considering, like, it's circumcision gospel. It has nothing to do with grace at all. And Marcia in the background goes, it has nothing to do with that, you dumbass. And I just was like, you go. You go. Marcia goes, dude. I haven't ever video chatted with Marsha. I have with uh, Michael a handful of times. And these are the realest motherfuckers you're ever going to meet. I really hope... I know I'm going to meet them. I know I'm going to greet them someday. I, ho I hope it's on this earth, you know? And if not, then I'll see them up in the air with my lord. I tell Becca all the time, I'm not meant to be here forever. 
And it's like she wants to believe that, but she doesn't want me to go. Uh, there was someone who commented, a Spurgeon um, saint. Hold on, this semi is going by. Just kind of loud, even if the wind is overtaking. But I, I hope that Becca's a believer. And if she's not, then so be it. She has, she's got everything about her is a good heart. Like, there's no way that she's destined for anything wicked. Like, not a second death, that's what I mean. Fuck that shit. There's so few people that I know that I even consider what the outcome of their life is. Because I know what it is. I know that they will be one with God. Everyone. Everyone you've ever met. Every dog you've ever seen, every cat, every fucking thing with a breath, every, if it has a breath, it has a soul. It is a soul. It is the dirt animated by God's spirit. Like Honda, Honda running in the grass over there. The happy little pup. I love him so much. And he is my celestial pup. He is my dog. I know it's windy, I know you might get tired of this. I don't, I don't get tired of the truth. I get tired of just about everything else in the world. God is giving me so much patience to endure the wickedness, the affliction. And I don't focus on the affliction any longer. I can't do it, it just takes all my energy. I have very little energy anyways. And when I do have it, it's like Martin told me when I tried working with him. I did. I worked with him for a little bit. People have given me shit. Like, like people in my own family, the ones who claim to love me unconditionally, are the ones giving me shit. Pretty much telling me, Seth, you failed. Seth, you fucked up. And it's like, no fucking shit, dumbass. Why do you think I'm in Iowa? After working at Chipotle, I don't know if I can fucking do anything else but design. Even if I don't like it, at least it's design. At least I'm good at it, you know? Design is so simple to me. It's so easy to understand. Yeah, it might, need, it might get monotonous. It might get a little repetitive, but... At least it's consistent. I might be an asshole sometimes. I might push your buttons. I might make you feel inferior. And I never, ever intend to. Ever. God damn, I never intend to. At least I'm consistent. At least I'm consistently going to be true to you. I'm just like my mom. I will do anything for anybody, anytime. Even if they kick me in the teeth a hundred fucking thousand times. I'll still love you. I'm just like my dad, too. I'll cut you off. I'll cut you out of my life like you were never even there. Because I know that your purpose is not mine to determine. It's God's. If everything glorifies God, then everything you're going through is crucial. Every false belief you've ever had is crucial to know what the truth is. People want the truth so bad that they are willing to twist the lie enough to almost look like a truth. I had that thought before I started this video. And that's kind of, I, I wanted to make a video just because I'm just so fucking upset. My body aches. I'm on my second cup of coffee. It's 2 in the afternoon, 2.30 in the afternoon, two, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I don't even know. I've got a car that can't even drive on the interstate, so Rebecca drove me here. She's just doing everything. She's such a nurturing, loving woman. And I have never knew that someone so caring and loving and thoughtful even existed. Like, my mom has been a great example of that, but I can't... I can't find someone just like her. I need someone for me. I don't... I don't need... I don't know... I don't know what I need. I just... God has given me Rebecca. And last night we talked about the seriousness of this. 
I'm not fucking around. I'm not just dating to date. I haven't even taken her on a fucking date yet because I've been too broke. I've had... I feel like a fucking failure. I know I am. I'm okay with that, but like... I don't want to just... Remain that. Christ, his faith is victorious for all, especially believers. And we are being afflicted heavily. It's like Rob, man. He's having to take time off of videos because he has no energy. He's my, he's my best fucking friend, man. In the body of Christ, we match. We match. I'm not even going to worry about the what if if we never met each other. Because it's crucial that we did, and it's crucial that we know each other, and that we're, we are brethren. And the only thing we share is the faith of Christ. The belief that's been given to us. I didn't ask for this shit. You should have heard the things I was saying to my dad before I came into the knowledge of the truth. Before God placed me in a spot to recognize that he really is who he says he is. And his son really is who he says he is. I was so fucking negative and counterproductive to what my dad was trying to tell me. Well, if, if it's all figured out, you can just be a fatalist, right? Just fuck it. Do whatever you want because it's all going to be okay in the end. That's the perspective my mom always took. Well, if you can do whatever you want, then just fucking go, yeah, you know? Go rob a bank. Go kill people. Well, your heart isn't so fucking evil that you're going to do that. And there's not that people who have ever killed anyone or robbed or stolen or lied or anything like that. Not that they're evil. It's just what God had purpose for their life. I can't tell you who's good and who's bad. I can't do it. I'm not looking into people's lives that deeply. I don't have the fucking patience to try and figure out who you are. Because I already know who you are. You are a, ch a child of God. Whether you believe it or not, God is conciliated towards you. You just may not yet be reconciled. Reconciliation only comes after you realize you have been given the the knowledge to realize that you are conciliated towards. That you are conciliated towards. God is present. It's his approach present. His approach present, which means he is revealing himself through his Christ who is already here in you as a believer. When I boast, it is not of me. It is not of me. It is of Christ in me because I... I've thought about myself too much in this life. And by too much, I mean just enough to know that I, need, I don't fucking care about considering myself. I love myself, and I thank God for that. I can't, like, Rob calls me the Krush man. He, he says, you're the Krush man. Well, it's fucking hard to believe it. But I do believe it. I got nothing to prove to anybody. I will herald the truth. I will herald the evangel of Paul, which is grace, total grace, unearned favor. Through the mercy of God, which is pretty much receiving something that you were not, that you did not earn, or mercy, mercy, what is mercy? Mercy is, uh, you were, like, I'm just gonna have to, I don't know the exact definition, so I'm gonna say, a kid was, uh, told he was going to get ten hits with the leather belt because he did something wrong. The father was merciful to the point where he said, I'm not going to hit you. Grace and mercy go hand in hand, especially in Paul's gospel. It's not up to us where we're placed. But we have the feet to go because we know that we are purposed through this life, in this life. Yeah, there's death. Yeah, there's sin. But God does not reckon your sins against you. 
those people who go to church that tell you that it's your fault and that you need to fix it and that you have to come clean, they don't have your best intentions in mind. They have their agenda in mind. And I used to be part of that. I grew up in that. It's hard to unlearn that. It really is. I'm just thankful. That's all I can have is gratitude. I've been full of gratitude for years, but like now it's finally making sense. Oh, there's actually a reason I'm grateful? Not just because I think I'm supposed to be? Oh, because there's actually a purpose? Oh, and it goes beyond me? Yeah, it has nothing to do with me. I just get to enjoy the light. The Son of God is the glorious fucking burning sun in the sky. Not literally, but that's like a metaphor. He's the he's the one who is given the energy and the true spiritual vibration of love and grace. It's not up to me that he gets to be that. That's God's will. That's God's purpose. For me, I simply get to enjoy the perfect image of God, which is Christ. Image of God. Which means that is not God. It's like, here, I'm going to fucking destroy the trinity right now so if i paint a, a picture if i paint a painting of you and i show it to you i will not say this is you i will say this is a, a picture of you this is a painting of you of means from from It is not you, but it is from you. The image is representing you. But you are yourself. You're a soul. The Spirit of God animates the soil, which makes up the particles of your body, the physical manifestation, that you actually are alive, and you actually have purpose, and you are crucial. And I'm talking to myself right now. I was, tell, I was telling Rob yesterday, and he, he does this too. I don't ever talk to anyone else. I'm just talking to myself. I just want to actually feel real. I just want to act, not even just feel it. I just want to know it, believe it. Believing is, is thinking something is there even if you cannot rationally verify it. Like when the vibes are off, I don't give a fuck. Fuck your vibes, dude. Fuck your vibes. I've been saying that for a while. Not to be offensive, not to be rude. It's just like, this perception is truly vanity. It's like when Rebecca was losing her mind, thinking I was trying to convince her of... I don't even know what. I don't know. She's just been lied to so much in her life that now that I'm being honest with her... Well, I've always been honest with her, but now that she's realizing that I really am this honest and this true, she gets lost in a place of, can I trust him? Is he really who he says he is? Fuck yeah, I am. Fuck yeah, I am. I'm exactly who I'm supposed to be, and there's no doubt in my mind that she is who she is supposed to be. And we are both growing into further versions of ourself that are more true not because it's gaining truth. No, it's just because it's uncovering what's already real. Reality truly is reality. And the love of God through his Christ, it's, 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 as, it's as simple as this. Your big brother is taking your punishment for you, and he already did. Therefore, you don't have to do shit. Yeah, you're going to suffer a little bit in this life, and yeah, it fucking sucks. But this life is a little pipsqueak on the grand scheme of forever only god is eternal christ himself is not eternal you are not eternal eternal damnation don't even fucking consider it because no one is eternal except for god eternal means it doesn't have a beginning it doesn't have an end so if you live this life and then you believe that you're going to go to hell that's not eternal damnation that's impossible because it has a start oh after this life then you're judged and you go to hell <laughs> You just fucked yourself over right there. You don't even make sense. Let that fear be gone. There's no condemnation in Christ. Christ said to despise the shame.
He despises the shame. Yeah, it's hard to get through it sometimes. I have these weird thoughts that go full circle in my head. And Rob is much more mature than me. He says all the time, Seth, you know I can kick your ass spiritually. And he does. Because our full circles, his are a lot bigger. It's I told him, it's like, if we're sitting at the fire pit, if we're sitting at the fire pit, my fire pit ring is about that big. Rob's fire pit ring is about 20 times bigger. I'm just the idiot dancing in the fire and he's sitting back with a cold beer saying, that motherfucker's having a time. And he pulls me out of the fire all the time and says, cool your fucking shit, Seth. I'm a little kid, man. I'm 24 years old and I have youth. Hey, Addie.